I have it as coming up on 1 o'clock. I'm going to give it just a little bit more time for others to join us. For those of you who may have a moment or two, there are a number of handouts that have been uploaded for this presentation that you may choose to take advantage of beforehand. I'm going to get started for everyone now at this point. Good afternoon, and thank you all for taking the time to join us today for our training overview on the Fund Her Success fam Family Annual Giving Campaign, which officially kicked off on October 1st. For today's presentation, all of our attendees are on mute, and I would ask that we hold the questions until the end. Please feel free to use the chat window at the bottom. If a question comes up to you at any time, we'll be sure to respond at the end of the presentation. For today's agenda, just very quickly, we're going to recognize, first of all, that our time is important, so I don't want to keep anybody running late today. We are going to be reviewing the positive role and impacts of the Girl Scout program. And looking closer to home, we're going to look at the information on what our numbers are right here in the heart of the Hudson. Then I will take a few minutes to talk about the campaign itself, including our philanthropist patch, moving into some key details and pointers for everyone. This presentation will touch on the role of the annual giving chair and a quick look at the resources and the materials that you have available. By way of a brief introduction, I'm Deb Bogdansky, and this is now my third month in this position with Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. And while I am new to this role, I am not new to either Girl Scouting or Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. I was myself a Girl Scout with my two daughters. I also served as their troop leader for over 12 years. During that time, as many of you may relate to, I also served as the service unit chair, recruiter, and then became a trainer with both Girl Scouts and then with American Red Cross. I've worked summers at Birch Ridge Girl Scout Camp, served on the board of directors with first the Legacy Council in Orange, Sullivan, and Pike County, Sarah Wells, and then the founding board for Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. I loved all of these opportunities and experiences, and now I am on staff here at Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson as the Director of Development, looking forward to ensuring the financial resources needed to build a resilient council, programs, and properties in order to serve our mission. Girl Scouting builds girls of courage, confidence, and character, which makes our world a better place. So how are we doing in terms of opening the door for GIRL, go-getter, innovator, risk-taker, and leader? The Girl Scout Research Institute has been conducting surveys and compiling research to validate the success of our programs. In our Girl Scout Heart of the Hudson website, on the donate page, Why Girl Scouting Matters, is a two-page PDF file that you can download and use with great highlights to share with your troop leaders and parents. It speaks not only to the need for Girl Scouting, but how it makes a demonstrated difference for our girls. Here are some of the key metrics and measurements for Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. We serve girls in seven counties, rural, suburban, urban communities with median income levels in a very wide range. As you can see from this slide, these were our numbers from last year. We served just over 28,000 girl members supported by almost 12,000 adult member volunteers. Overall, we have over 2,500 troops that we serve in Girl Scouts Hearts, Heart of the Hudson, with 101 girls who were able to earn their gold award and 280 girls who have earned their silver award. What is Fund Her Success Family Annual Giving Campaign all about? Well, for me personally, fundraising is more than sharing the great news of our organization and our successful programs in the context of the need for Girl Scouting in our communities. It talks about also providing the opportunity for everyone to support our mission. Over the years, the campaign was called the Fam 
family annual giving campaign. We'll continue to note that, but we've additionally added the tagline, Fund Her Success. Fund Her Success is just that. The fundraising campaign is focused on funding our programs and properties. We are asking the adults associated with our troops and girls for their financial support. As I mentioned earlier, the campaign opened up October 1st, and we are looking to wrap it up by the end of April. This does not mean that you need to run your campaign, however, for this entire period. For the service units that are successful, it has been their recommendation that you identify a limited, shorter period of time, perhaps a month, that you can focus on communicating and collecting the funds. Not new to Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson, but it hasn't been done for the past few years, we are reintroducing the philanthropy patch. For each family that makes a minimum donation of $50, each registered girl in that family will receive the patch. This is a great learning opportunity to have with your daughter around the concept of philanthropy. I am sure that she is aware of the multiple fundraisers going on today for Hurricane Harvey, Hurricane Marie in Puerto Rico, and now the fires in California. She may be hearing about the millions of dollars that are being raised by celebrities or the many collections that are going on with necessities that are being shipped overseas. These are just the starting points to begin a lifelong awareness of giving with your daughter. Let's talk a little bit about some of the key questions that will come up when you begin to talk with your families about supporting the Fund for Her Sex Success campaign. Starting off with the first question, of course, what happens with the money I've already paid out? For example, what happens with the $25 membership due that I pay for my daughter to join Girl Scouts? And again, we will highlight the fact that these $25 that's paid for the membership dues goes directly to Girl Scouts USA it is not coming back to Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. Another question that will come up is what about the dues that I pay for my daughter's troop? This is important to note that Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson, that these dues that are paid by the girls is determined and there are various amounts that are paid depending on what the needs each troop determines are necessary to operate their troops. It's also important to note that for Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson, there is a direct cost related for each registered girl that comes out to just under $250 for us to provide the programs and properties that are available for any of the registered girls in our council. Unfortunately, while the program fees, shop and product revenues are very helpful, there's still a gap of approximately $55 per girl. This is what the Fund Her Success campaign will cover for our girls. Additionally, these numbers are reported out each year, both in the IRS 990 forms and the audited financial statements that are filed by Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. Another fact or question that will come up, of course, is that for many, many of you, you're already providing so much time and volunteering as a troop leader or in other capacities. So why should I have to give more? First of all, our answer is very simple. We owe you a huge thank you. Thank you for donating your time and energy to serve as a troop leader or any of the other multiple volunteer roles that you have. As a volunteer-led organization, we cannot provide our programs and services without you, so we can't say it enough. Thank you. While your volunteering is critical to our success, so is the need for financial support. At Council, we have reviewed our goals for each unit, and in many instances, we, see, we have set a more realistic goal, which we hope that your units will not only meet, but that you will succeed at. A Couple of other factors to share. Let's talk a little bit about the corporations and finance foundations and their financial support. Do they donate? Do we ask for them to support us? The answer is yes. We do ask corporations and foundations for their financial support, and we will continue to do so. An interesting statistic for nonprofits, however, is that the largest percentage of donors and the greatest amount of money raised comes from individuals. These are the families and the people who have experienced the programs and services, and they truly appreciate the value. Whether it is a natural disaster or Girl Scouts, families and individuals will always be our greatest supporters. Other ways that you can participate and be successful with the Fund Her Success campaign. 
So how can you and the families that you are meeting with support us? There are many options open today. We can have donations made on a schedule through our website. Payment information is secure, and we can set up a recurring schedule. Additionally, some choose to donate through their workplace with payroll deductions. And in some instances, the employer may even match those donations. Several troops have chosen to designate a set collection through their families and troop dues that will help them to meet their goals. There are service units that may even hold a special event and donate a percentage of those proceeds. And these are just some of the many options that are available. Please feel free to talk to me or any of our staff if you need to have some other ideas or want to bounce some ideas off of us. So we come to the question of a very big question that's asked very honestly, every one of us will ask this of ourselves when we are faced with considering to support a cause or a nonprofit. The question is, what does this do for me? How do we benefit? Here, the bottom line comes back to the need for and the success of Girl Scouting in terms of meeting the needs of the girls and ensuring that they have what they need to become go-getters, innovators, risk takers, and the leaders in today's world. Ultimately, that is what every one of you and your families are expecting. It is what you and I want, and with your financial support, we can achieve it. Just a few more quick tips to review, to talk about how you can succeed in reaching those goals. Please remind your parents that they can check with their HR department to see if there is an option for a matching gift and or payroll deductions, which may make it easier for them. Also, you may want to consider sending letters to businesses in your family, in your community, excuse me, to ask them for a donation or consider hosting a special event within your troop or within your unit. While this is an adult focused fundraiser, your troops and girls may have some of the best ideas on what events would be fun and successful. When we look at the various ways that you can donate, in the interest of going green and reducing the paper waste, we really hope that you and your families will look to the website to make your donation. On the website, they should be sure to include the daughter's name, troop, and unit information so that each service unit has an accurate tally for their reporting. Our fund development team will be sending out monthly reports showing the details for each service unit. Please be sure to look for this information and check it against your own records. Any discrepancies, let us know in a timely manner so that we can research and resolve those concerns for you. I have emailed out to each unit, both the service unit chair and the annual giving chair, an electronic copy of the brochure. And you will also find the copy of that uploaded within the webinar screen on the right. You can choose to distribute electronically by email to your families, and they can return their donation using either envelopes that we have provided or better yet, simply recycle an envelope from home. In terms of the campaign chairs themselves for the annual giving, as the Fund Her Success Annual Giving Chair, please be sure to meet with your troop leaders to give them this information. Work with your unit team and troop leaders to discuss both your unit goal and a plan on how to meet, oh, excuse me, beat that goal. The time frame for your campaign will depend on what works best for your community. We are looking to wrap or conclude the campaign by April 30th, and I'm sure that you also want to wrap up before the end of the school year. With that said, we will be accepting and, of course, recording donations after that time frame. Within each troop, there should be a designated volunteer to help lead that effort within the troop, distribute materials, and discuss this further within their own troop families. Attached, you will also find some copies of the troop and unit bookkeeping forms, Please be sure to provide these forms information back to us when depositing your funds. Use the bank deposit tickets that have been set up specifically for the campaign. Those tickets, deposit tickets, by the way, are in your service unit packets that were distributed at the rally or are now waiting for you at your regional office location. Once you get that packet, look through those materials and let us know if there's any questions or concerns that you may have. Here's a sample of some of the forms that we are providing that are available to you, including, for example, the checklist. This may help you note the various steps, tasks that are involved with running the campaign and help you to schedule them out with a plan. As noted earlier, it can be very helpful to run the campaign in a time frame that works within your own community. 
note what the timeline is, communicate it out. It is important that when returning the deposit tickets to include the donor information, as this is what we will be using to produce your reports each month. We also have several sample letters and templates that you can work with and modify for your use with both families and businesses. Communication is a two-way conversation. While we have provided these forms, if you have any questions or concerns at any time, please be sure to reach out to us and let us know what you need. We need this campaign to be successful in order to ensure Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson continues to offer the quality programs and properties for your girls that we've all come to expect. Don't hesitate to let us know what you need in order to be successful. It's important for each and every donation that we acknowledge it and we do so in a number of different ways, primarily based upon the value of the contribution. Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson staff is here to support you to ensure that your campaign is successful. We are a key resource for you and your campaign. Basic packets with core information were provided. Do you have yours? If not, it's at the regional office. If you're unable to get it from that location, let us know. We'll figure out a way to get it to you. Would you like one of, my, one of the team or myself to come out and speak at your, with your troop leaders at a service unit meeting? We are more than willing to do that. Just let us know, extend the invitation so that we know which meeting you'd like us to attend. At this point, while I said earlier we can't thank you enough for your volunteering, for your support and your commitment, we will say it again. Thank you so very much for all of your help and everything that you do for Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson. I'm looking at the chat window now. I'm not seeing any questions. If there are any, please feel free to type it in. Let me know what questions you may have. Otherwise, it looks like we are going to be able to wrap up just a little bit early, which is a good thing for everybody, especially around lunchtime. You have our contact information as well. If there should be any other concerns or questions that you may want to take with myself or my team offline, please feel free to do so. And again, I'm gonna conclude this webinar, but thanks everyone to, for their time and energy this afternoon. Take care, bye now.